It compressed so easy. <laughs> this though, oh, it's got a little tear in it, but it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna need one. Just so. We did it. So to get this coil in place, we compressed four parts of the spring here, four levels, and it fits lower, but to get the bottom half in, um, now our only problem is gonna be loosening it, Miles. <laughs> oh, I got it. There's a little grease on there. Sure. Oh, 
hurt. Why does the top seem like it's smaller? It's not. Well, we'll push it up. We'll jack up the car. Yeah, push. Yeah, we're gonna have to jack. Right. Yeah. A little That's more. Good. That's good right there, I think. Here's a pinch. Let's go. <laughs> Hold on. So, there's just like a way that we can get it. Because it's just a rubber shim, so. Unless, oh, I have a tiny flat head that I could push behind here. There we go. Nope, no need. We're good. Yeah. yeah. Take, take another one of the cars or something. Yeah. Uh, it's is it bolted on the other side? Is that what? This just needs to come out. Oh. It's coming out. <sighs> Good stuff. It's just that is so. Thin. Oh yeah, got it. All right, perfect, dude. All right, good timing. We're making good time. All right. Now the question is how, which direction does this want to pop? There we go. Oh, that there one. we go. Uh, okay. 17, 18. I guess. <laughs> we gotta know how many foot pounds. Well, there's a video. Yeah, they'll say. <sighs> top. Sway bar. Top. That one is also that big? Yeah. We'll yep. get that line out of the way. And I'm gonna need my handy dandy wrench that I just sat. Oh, this is gonna drop though. No, it's not. Well, uh, yeah, maybe. No, it won't. It won't. This is where I wish I had an extra jack. Well, we do. It's in the Honda, but we we'll have to be careful. Yep, go. Okay, so. <laughs> Here, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. Oh, the bolt's still in there. Because this is that part of the axle, so. Yeah. Did you have the mallet? Yeah, mallet would be good. Some freaking okay, steel look. wool. All right, so this All right, is, we're the, out. The strut's not gonna come out because the top three bolts aren't undone. But we don't. Yet. I know, but the CV axle. Yep. Uh. Do you want some, do you want to? What do I need? Um. Do you want it to rest on something? Give me this block. Yeah, we want to rest it on something. Because it, if it's just hanging, we don't want to tear this. Rest it on the tire that we're not using. Yep. All right. Okay, well. So we have to figure out how to get that bolt off. Uh -huh. Right there. Here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another wooden block. That's a pretty handy damn wrench right there. Actually. Which? What it tells you how, what, what the metrics are. Yeah. We're gonna do 50. Is it smaller? Oh, okay. Alright.
So I didn't strip it. That's good. That's good you job, mate. Ah, these hard lines are gonna suck, but they're right there. You can get that one on though. Oh, by a barely, by a hair. Yeah. Okay, um. This guy doing a video there. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. That's our direction. That we need to be. I'm gonna be very careful now. <sighs> Oh yeah, and it just popped right out. Awesome. Woo! And it's already it's already compressed on there. Oh yeah. Well, kind of. Let's just get the other side. We're gonna have to compress it. Other side. Oh yo, there's a gasket here. Hmm. It's a bit of a problem. We're gonna need a gasket. No, no, look up. Like, that's <laughs> cracked. There's no washing that. <laughs> so what did my dad use? We're going to have to go, like, really slow on this bolt. E-Spectrum? I've never heard of that brand. Oh. So, should we, com should we compress the coil? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get the other coil compressor on the other side. I'll try and get it there. Oh. What's that? Kind of sketchy. It is. Oh my God! Barely. Oh, be careful. Okay, it's not going to spring. No, it's not. It shouldn't. It's compressed. It's good. If it, the fact that it didn't shoot up at us now means it's fine. <gasps> what? <laughs> it just jumped. Uh, cool. Okay. Well, oh, is this a bearing we need? Oh, well, we have to use the top of the tower. Oh, here, hold the strut. Hold the strut. No, just. Okay. <laughs> here we are. How bad did these? Oh my goodness. These ones are. This you, this the spring was literally just holding it. No. <laughs> like, watch. They're not going to rebound uh, to the very edge. Oh, maybe. Why did my shock, like, go... That was weird. The, like, rubber part went down. Interesting. Okay, so these two pieces sit together. Obviously. Yeah. We're going to clean this for sure. Clean... Uh, we're we're going gonna to clean everything. We're going to have to clean this piece, too, because we have to... This was that. on the top. We gotta reuse the top, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause we're gonna put, ideally... Well, we have longer bolts too. Okay. That are out. We have three bolts, three nuts, and three washers. So th these are probably gonna go. Oh, there's a specific way. Yep, yep. So see how those aren't long enough? Yeah. Yep. Because we're spacing it. So mm -hmm. the only problem I see with this is we're gonna have to tap these out somehow. We didn't kind of think that through before, you know. Those aren't coming out. Oh yeah, they're kind of like in there. Yeah. So we're gonna have to tap them out somehow. Uh, that's another thing to look up because I don't know how to tap that out. Ryan would probably know, but we don't have Ryan here, so. <laughs> it looks tartered on or cemented. To yeah. This is 
So we needed a gasket for this, and so it fits. Looking pretty good. It's getting there. Mm, it's not. So it's no, it doesn't. It. I'll try it on this. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but like, that's like the reference size. This way. Nope. nope. Yeah. It's pretty good. That should keep the metals off of each other. Yeah. A absolutely. Absolutely. It's now we nice just, and thick Now we too. just need to get those holes right, and then we're chilling. The yeah. Mm. Well, because it sits on. No, it sits between this. These it sits between these two. Yeah. Like that. I keep moving, huh? Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's keep it pushed down here. There we go. It's, it's off close. it now, huh? It's getting pretty close. So while I was editing this video, I realized I never gave it a proper intro or outro and uh, that's because we didn't really have an intro, we kind of just started working on the car and I just set the camera on the tripod and started filming and had the GoPro running and so that's why you see a lot of like GoPro footage and um, you know, just us working uh, mainly and not really documenting what we're doing because there are some, probably some guides online on how to do this and we watch between you know different Nissan videos and stuff trying to figure out how to piece you know piece our uh, suspension together here in terms of specs um, Miles did get most of this stuff off the forms people did recommend using some different coils and whatnot so he kind of pieced this together and so he is running in the rear Land Rover Defender coils and Bill seen 5100 series shocks that gives about a three inch lift two and a half to three inch um, it's definitely higher in the rear than it is in the front. The front is running a two inch strut spacer with AC medium duty front coils paired with KYB struts. And those are the XL G series uh, KYB struts. So basically the back is higher than the front, but um, we could have opted to cut the coil, I guess, and modify it so that it would sit uh, level. Um, but I kind of convinced Miles that uh, you know, you can go higher in the rear, especially if you're going to tow something eventually, um, you know, and in the case that even, you know, the the whole shock itself kind of dies, you know, you still have that extra leverage, I guess. Um, but when you put stuff and people in there, then it'll, it'll level itself off out and for off-roading, you know, it's going to be fine anyway. In terms of length of doing this project, it definitely took us longer than we thought. Uh, we thought maybe two or three days. Um, it turned into close to a week um, and I was working on and off. Some days were full days, some days were not because we had to go to the store and make gaskets so that took us a while. We thought we would get gaskets from a Nissan dealership nearby that said they had them in stock online and they didn't so we ended up having to go to O'Reilly's and getting some gasket material to make a total of four gaskets. Um, one between the spacer um, on the bottom side and one on the top between the spacer and it mounting to the body of the car. We made four gaskets just to be on the safe side so that the metals weren't colliding and there is a cushion point and there is, you know, it's sealed and it's not like some metal on metal contact and, you know, we weren't sure. So um, it's good though. Everything's held up. We've taken on an off roading trip a little bit. Uh, Miles has taken it off road more and told me about kind of what he's experienced and so he said that everything's good everything was tight we torqued everything to spec correctly on the first time and then went around and checked after driving it a little bit and everything was still as tight as it was supposed to be so it's been very good and um, it's definitely an interesting combination of parts using Land Rover Defender coils in the rear um, that was something the the R50 Pathfinder owner forms kind of said you know is a good thing to do parts he did replace ending up replacing was we did tear a or he tore a cv boot in the front and so he ordered cv axles anyway and just did those um and so that's all done and it's it's fantastic it works great 
really nothing to complain about. The car is perfect. It has over 250,000 miles, I think, on it. And so doing this new suspension was was absolutely needed. So the part where I said like, oh, that it's been on the stoppers forever is because it had been. Every time Miles would go over a speed bump or something, it'd hit the bottom of the stopper and you can see the burnt rubber off of it. Like there's a complete mark for where it'd been sitting for so long. And so it was good to be able to get that all fixed and uh, it, it works pretty good. So stay tuned for the next video that comes out on this channel. I do have a video of us taking it off road and um, kind of puddles and just little hills and stuff. Um, just have fun with it because uh, the local off-road park didn't have anything open at the time we went. And so they said next year, uh, January 2020, that they'll have stuff open. So, but we'll, I'm definitely down to go out and film a video there again. Um, if you guys have any questions about kind of the car, um, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll try and address as many as I can and maybe have Miles go through them and um, and then try and list stuff in the description. So yeah, that's been it for two noobs doing suspension <laughs> in a backyard taking about a week, um, but uh, we did it correctly. So can't complain, it looks pretty sweet.